makeup work on makeup on <laughs> makeup shopping requires a lot of time energy and effort most of us which don't want to spend those things looking into finding a product that may or may not suit our needs and actually find what we're looking for so in this particular video what I'm going to be doing is reviewing and giving a mini tutorial on nine totally different natural and cruelty free foundations and all of these foundations will range in consistency, price point, finishes and what type of foundation it is and so maybe you can become inspired to see which one you might want to try out next or see what would be suitable for your skin. These are just personally chosen products that I've worn, used and tested myself and actually recommend to you and it's just designed as a guide for your transition into green beauty or for you to learn a little bit more about foundation in general. First we have Kula's Sun Care BB Cream with an SPF of 30 in it. So this is a really light coverage, perfect for those who like a barely there feel. It's not drying, it's super hydrating, but it is not oily, it dries nice and matte and adheres to your skin. There are two shades, this one is the medium dark. It is designed to help reduce any signs of visible aging and rehydrate your skin into a more youthful glow. Another SPF packed BB cream or tinted moisturizer is one of my personal faves and go-to. It is from Rue Pretty and it is their Boosted Liquid Minerals. So you can get them for $22 US. It has a lightweight coverage with organic moisturizers that keep the skin soft while protected and it has a zinc oxide in it with a color corrector. So the SPF is 27 and it dries with a nice matte and even coverage. So if you do have dry skin and you're using this, then make sure that you just moisturize properly. Third, I'm using 100% pure fruit pigmented tinted moisturizer and it is a healthy foundation completely made out of fruit pigments. So there are no synthetic dyes or minerals in there. It is literally just skin food. So it is made out of veggies and fruit. It has super enriched antioxidant formulas in there along with other botanicals that nourish the skin really well. And it has a light coverage. I personally found this a little bit difficult to blend in which is why I like to put it on with the my fingers only because the heat of my finger pads helped to pick up the product and move it where I wanted to. It's hit or miss for me, maybe you'll really like it. You get a lot of uses out of it. This is completely vegan for all the vegan babies out there. And 100% Pure does have a lot of different types of foundations on their website. The tinted moisturizer is just the one I wanted to try and this does have some protection as well. Next, now we're getting into medium coverage foundations and this is a liquid foundation from Nuit Berlin. It is 44 Canadian dollars. I know it looks small, but a little of this goes a long way. It smells like vanilla and it has in between a satin and a matte finish, so it's hydrating but it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily and it's not heavy whatsoever. It has a soothing formula of calming chamomile and aloe vera extracts and it also fights off free radicals thanks to the shea butter in it. This is also completely vegan and gluten-free. You can get this online specifically. Another medium coverage that we have is actually a personal favorite for me as well. I've used plenty of times in the past myself, photo shoots, creatives, brides. This is great for both men and women and it's completely non-cosmogenic, meaning it won't clog pores. Okay, so it is the Vapor Organic Beauty Atmosphere Soft Focus Foundation and it is made from plant oils completely. It is 66 Canadian dollars and if you were to compare it to a conventional brand, I would say it's like the Stila All-in-One or the All Day 10 in 1 HD Beauty Balm. This does have a satin finish, so if you're somebody who prefers more of a matte finish, no shine or satin whatsoever, this probably isn't for you. But this is actually one of my products in my giveaway this week, so if you're watching this video this week, please do enter, but if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry. Go check if there's other giveaways, because there probably are. While we're still on Vapor, another great medium coverage, which you can kind of build up to be fuller coverage if you want to, but this is, I put it in the medium category because it finishes so natural looking, even in the daylight when somebody's looking at your face, they're looking at you, not your your makeup that sits on top of the face. This is made from wind power. There are no nanoparticles included and the packaging is recyclable. So there are lots of beautiful things about this. Again, this is cruelty free. It is not completely vegan. I find that the best way to apply this specific one is just by drawing it directly onto the skin, but prepared and moisturized or primed skin. Otherwise, I find it just catches and is really hard to blend. Another medium foundation that I have, I only have the sample foundation now, but it is uh, the Sappho New Paradigm liquid foundation and it is clean, conscious, and vegan. I use the color 5, so I'm almost out on this. I just have enough to show you one more application with it. I've, this probably had about six full face applications in it 
and it has closer to her full coverage. You can build it as well. It's great for a matte finish, good for oily skin, combination skin. If you have dry skin, again, just really moisturize it and maybe stick more to like a BB cream or something with more moisturizing elements into it. I find that this product brand and brand just takes a little bit longer to get settled and absorbed into the skin. So you can get this at the detox market online at various stores and brands. Just type in there their company name if you're looking for. I have links below. I'll link you to this too. I didn't have a chance to talk about this foundation before because I just got it, but I really wanted to include it in this video because I love the way that it looks. It's the Urban Minerals Loose Powder Mineral Foundation, and I'm using a tighter compact kabuki brush to pat on the powder evenly over my face and then buff it out in circular motions. It really does work best on freshly washed, even exfoliated and moisturized skin, and it has a medium coverage and it's buildable and you can add it to other foundations, and I really love the finish. The last foundation that I'm going to be featuring is medium coverage but it can be buildable to be a little bit more of a full coverage and I kind of classify it as like a mousse when it comes out and it blends the best using a smaller denser kabuki brush. Personally I just found that this is how it has worked for me. This is the Fit Glow Vita Active Foundation and you can get it for $56 Canadian again online at various stores and it has a botanical hyaluronic acid in it so it plumps the skin, boosts the collagen, also protects from harmful and damaging UV rays and environmental toxins at the same time. Another really great thing about this company specifically is that it helps to reverse hyperpigmentation, any signs of aging, while really infusing and feeding the skin, similar to the way you have a protein shake after a workout. I have so many um, foundations myself personally because depending on how my skin's looking or acting that day, how dry it is, how much coverage I want, where I'm going. Also, do not be afraid to combine different foundations and formulas or get two of the same brand in different shades. So for instance, my Vapor Foundation Stick, I have two shades in this, one for summer, one for winter, and then sometimes I combine both depending on if I'm in between those, those two colors. You can combine them, you can mix and match them. Once you figure out how your skin works and what type of coverage you like to have, then you can start to narrow down, you know, which direction, which path you could go, what product may or may not be for you. So all of these products definitely are long lasting, specifically the medium to more full coverage ones. And it does last all day long, specifically if you don't touch your face and you really prepared and prepped the skin prior to putting it on and have a proper primer or moisturizer and setting spray on top of it as well. Also be aware of how much you're touching the face. And after all, it is only makeup. It's not glue. It's not meant to stick permanently to the face for long periods of time. Nothing is. That just means your skin's not breathing and something else is going on. So let me know which ones you guys liked the best, which one you thought had the best coverage or finish, or which one ever you're inspired by or interested in or have questions about. Leave them below in the comments section. All of the links are going to be in the description as well. And please give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new or became inspired or anything like that. It means the world to me. Thank you so much. And I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.